Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode about the LEGO Train Automated Container Terminal. The last episode was about rebuilding the crane as it got really damaged during the whole process of moving to the new house. And uh, so I rebuilt the crane and I ended the episode with an electrical problem. Uh, that's where we're going to pick up today. Um, the uh, lighting works as you can see, but there's a problem with the uh, moving unit on top of the crane, which doesn't get any power. So we're going to look into that today. So let's get started. Starting now to record. I'm going to switch off this one. All right. And we're live with the GoPro. It's uh, I have some, some a chest mount plate, so um, I'm not very used to working with this like this. But hey, let's check it out if it works or not. So we're going to need to measure some things uh, first because um, the power is coming through this wire here, it's going in here, then it's going through here, through here, and then it's going in here. There's a switch here, this has a on off, which works fine. That's the main switch for the whole crane to actually shut down the 12 volts uh, power supply. And what you see here is um, this is. A unit that makes 5 volt out of the 12 volts. This is the 5 volt distribution for uh, inputs and outputs and, and some other things that I can't remember. Bear in mind I didn't write down anything so it has been almost a year now I have to remember everything so that's a bit of an issue right now but I'm, I'm trying. Um, so the problem is that this crane does not have power. 5 volts here that works I, I can measure it on the terminal blocks here, but the 12 volt is coming from this building here. It's going into the cable duct that you see here. It's the uh, thick wire, you see here, and it goes all the way through the cable beam to this here. And then you see it running over here, hopefully also on video. And then it's going into the powered up unit, which I just opened. And um, yeah, let's first see if there's some power going on in the powered up. I hope I can show you it like this. Maybe it'll work, maybe not. I don't know if the display is readable because of the shutter speed. Um, we'll see. All right, uh, let's see. We have to have the yellow one and the blue one, the middle one, and there's nothing there. So we have do not have any um, power here. So that means that the power the power is somewhere cut between here somewhere and somewhere the between um, the switch, which has power, and and the unit that is on top of here. Now, the most logical part to look for is probably first, you have a look at, I don't know, here it is, the wire, and it seems all intact. So nothing happened to the wire here. Let me fix that later on. So I think the main issue probably is downstairs, yeah. Seems all good in here, so that means the problem needs to be in the building somewhere. Uh, but where? I have no idea. <laughs> so, um, I have no idea how we're going to solve this, but I'm afraid I have to take apart the building. Because otherwise I can't find anything. I see here a wire. And it surprises me that the problem is in here because this yeah it had a roof on top and it didn't get fully hit like the crane did so I see here a wire that looks like the other one going up to the top yeah this should be the wire as it's going here underneath the building it's going into the cable duct and I'm now checking the cable beam but it's all good. So then the problem should be, 
Yeah, of course, it should be underneath the controller. Oh boy. Oh, that went pretty well, actually. Now it's running not under the controller, but under the power distribution of the 5 volt system. Ah, uh, fuck. That's not easy to get by to. Um, That's the downside when you build something and then you build Lego on top of the cables. Ah, here it is. Probably, yeah. Ah, the screw wasn't even tightened very well. Or does the screwdriver? No. All right, let's take it out. Yeah, here it is. All right, this is the problem. Here's the problem, probably. Um, well, just have to remove some of the stuff here, otherwise I can't access it with the uh, soldering iron. What happened? I'm not sure if this actually is cause of the table with me on top crashing into the crane or this was already a somewhat of an issue. Soldering them together. Should also do the red one, I believe, because it's not very stable either, but it's still working now. Um, let's see. Let's power up. Still looks the same. No, nope. still no power. Bloody hell. That's too bad. Yeah, what? It's beeping because it's on for like 10 minutes or so. What do we got here? Yeah, here's power. All right. Now I just have to logically follow the, the wires to it's a, it's a mess because I need to install it very nicely. And now I have to get everything out. This is going to the switch. This is the cable that we're looking for. Yeah, but I, I honestly, I can't believe something happened to it because it's it's way down there. Well, at least that's my hope nothing happens to happen to it because it's totally not accessible. And this is the wire. Oh, I, I cannot imagine something happened to it. The only way to find out is actually cut it and see if there's a voltage on it. But I don't want to do that. And it's also connected here. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, boy. All right. It's not getting hot either, is it? No, it's cold. I just have to check the wire. 
centimeter by centimeter because you know there's a dent here I don't know if you can see it I don't know if this is the yeah this is the problem you see it's completely I think yeah this one is completely broken all right <laughs> so I totally overlooked this one it probably was here behind the motor got a smash and it broke all right powers off let's cut it let's solder it and see if we can get some power back But still works obviously. Um, the Lego part with Burr marks, but still. All right, now we got uh, these things. I don't know how you call them in English. In Dutch, they are called krimpkousen. And what they basically do, I'm gonna show you. I think I'm gonna show you. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. All right, so these ones go on here oh there's not enough tin on this one oh there is all right so these ones go on here then we're gonna connect the red one with the red one double check <laughs> always double checking these things otherwise you're short circuiting the whole thing All right, let's power up the thing. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Still nothing? Yeah. It's doing something now. I don't know exactly what, what, what it should be doing now, but ah, it's looking now for uh, a connection which should work, but it doesn't because the 5 volt circuit is out. All right, um, but this is progress. And you can't even see it. This is progress as the battery unit, the powered up unit is now getting power again. And now I can safely also assume that the power will be distributed to, for example, the 5 volt system here. The regulator is out, so but the supply voltage should be there. Which is it? Bloody hell. Oh yeah, here it is, 9 volts. Ah, it's not even 9 volts, so it's, it's coming from another supply. Um, all right, I'm going to put in the, um, yeah, all right, these wires are correct, so um, we're going to, we're going to put the shrink wraps, it's not shrink wraps, I'm just calling, shrinking socks, if you translate them directly from Dutch, and then we're going to set them a bit on fire. It's the heat that makes them shrink, like that. And we have a nice connection that is not going anywhere anymore. <sighs> All right, that's uh, the first issue. Yeah, I'm gonna recharge the, uh, the GoPro and um, I'm gonna fix this one here and then we're gonna see if it does work or not. And the new voltage regulator is in. So now the whole thing should work. So I'm going to enable the power. Which doesn't work because I need to flip the switch. And yeah, it doesn't do anything yet. Of course, ah, there's the blue light, of course. So that means that the power is back on, the power regulator. I'm going to switch on the uh, 
Powered up, up. Yeah, it makes connection. Oh, fuck, fuck. Yeah, it works. Uh, power off. Uh, just in time. <laughs> Woo. All right, it moves. That's the only thing I wanted to, uh, to do in this episode. Everything works just fine now. Next episode will be about actually making the crane move again. I'm gonna tidy it up a bit because this is loose and there's some other stuff loose. And then uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, we can uh, make it move again. We're gonna hook up the compressor, and then we're getting in uh, in a nice phase of actually moving things, containers and stuff like that. So uh, see you next time. Bye.